walking away Your words are lost on me It's taking everything Not to turn around Throw it away See if you'll let go of me When you're not holding me I can see it now Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Hidden Truth. I am so excited to get this LP started. I have given you guys a couple sneak peeks. We actually built this house on live stream, um, except for this room. This room was an add-on um, after the live stream, but uh, we did build this house basically on live stream, and we... I talked to you guys a little bit about the family, showed them off a little bit. Um, yeah, I I am so freaking excited to get this started. I can't wait to introduce you to everybody. I am just absolutely over the moon freaking happy right now. So uh, I am going to have Papa come in here and change little Donovan's outfit. We're going to put him in this outfit and then we're just going to have him go ahead and come put Donovan down on his little play mat. We also need to have him fill up all the pet bowls. Um, we're going to have Sedona go ahead and wash the laundry. She needs to dry the laundry that's in there. Mom is kind of calling everybody to breakfast. She's like, hey, I made breakfast scramble if anybody's interested. So dad, I think, is going to make himself a little cup of coffee. He's going to do some dark roast coffee. And I think Sedona is going to grab herself some healthy green tea. So while everybody is kind of walking around doing their little morning routine, I do just want to make some introductions. So this right here is the beautiful Miss Sedona Russell. Sedona is a teenager and she lives here in Willow Creek with her parents. This is Jason Russell. This is her dad. He is in the salary person career. He is a skilled supervisor. And then her mom, Nancy, who she loves so much. Her and her mom are very, very close. Nancy, can you come in here and take a shower, please, like I asked you to? <laughs> so this is Nancy. Nancy is very much like Susie Homemaker. Um, she loves to cook. She likes to clean. Uh, she stays home. She is a stay-at-home mom. Um, and this is little Donovan. Isn't he the cutest? Oh, my gosh. I am just obsessed with him. He is so cute. Um, and then what else was I going to tell you about Sedona? Oh, uh, Sedona is a straight-A student. She is also a captain of the cheer team. She also has a group of friends. This is her besties for the resties. This is her friend Karina, uh, Grady. This is Shayla, Sydney, and Savannah. So um, those are all of her best friends. Uh, she actually does have a boyfriend as well. I believe Jasper is the guy that she's dating. Yeah. So this is Jasper. This is her current boyfriend. You'll notice that she has a very high relationship with Grady um, and basically no romantic relationship with Jasper. And there's a reason for that. Um, her and Grady actually used to date, uh, but her parents did not like Grady because Grady is not from a family that is um, wealthy. <laughs> Grady's family is uh, an actually decently poor family um, compared to Sedona's family. And they want to portray the image uh, to everyone that they are this very quintessential, like, well-off, perfect suburban family. Um, that they have no issues, that everything is good. And they never have any problems at all. Now, we know that that's not true, obviously. Um, we are going to have dad go ahead and take the dog on a walk while mom takes Samson for a walk. They have two dogs. This is Maya, their golden retriever. And then Samson, this gorgeous man right here, the big black lab. We love him. He is so cute. 
Uh, Donovan is feeling a little sad. So I think we're going to have Sedona come in and we'll have her... We'll have her do tummy time with him for a little bit. Sedona is the kid that is always helping her parents out, whether it be with the baby, with the house, whatever they need. She is always helping them out. Oh, feeling protective from adoring someone nearby. When Sedona is around someone she adores, she wants to protect them and keep them safe. Oh my goodness. How sweet. Let's have her do a little bit of tummy time with little Donovan here. He is so cute, y'all. I can't. It is Saturday night and Sedona they have prom but Sedona is a sophomore in high school um, and she's definitely not going to be going to prom this time oh uh, her mom's friend Catherine wants to come over yeah for sure uh, let's have Nancy come and greet Catherine so Nancy is also part of a club. She is part of the Willow Creek Moms Club. There's not a whole lot of moms in this club uh, because there are a few um, details <laughs> that you have to meet. You do have to be married and you have to have more than $30,000 in your bank to be a member of this club. They like to hang out at Creekside Coffee. They go and have, they drink coffee. They gossip about other Sims, um, you know just the normal suburban mom things <laughs> oh hey um so this is Skyla's friend Shayla uh, she wants to know if we want to go over to her house and hang out and I think we will actually I think we're gonna take Sedona over there to hang out for a little while so I'm going to have Sedona come over here and say hello to her friend. We're going to give her a big hug. She's like, actually, I was going to go hang out at the bowling alley or at the cinema if you wanted to come with me. And Sedona's like, actually, yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's go. They are here at the Creekside Movie Theater. We're going to go ahead and go in. They're actually going to come upstairs together because they're definitely going to want to grab a snack or something before they go in to the theater. Order food. Let's have her get, maybe she'll just get some chips. So after they grab their chips, they're going to come in to the theater. They're going to be watching College Cram. I'm not sure why Shayla has decided that she's going to go stand in front of the in front of the uh, thing. Oh, I guess Shayla's leaving? No, why? Come and sit, please. Shayla, <laughs> there we go. And now it's nice and dark in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's naked. <laughs> well, I kind of hate that she ended up hanging out by herself <laughs> in the movie theater, but I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, after her movie, it looks like her movie's over, so let's have her go and use the restroom really quick. And it did cost her $13 for the ticket to the movie, and we'll say it cost her another $7 for the chips, so, uh, we'll take away $20 out of the household funds in order for her to pay for that. She's like, well, I guess I better go. Look at how cute her freaking outfit is. I'm obsessed. She has the cutest clothes. She has the cutest style. She's just adorable and I love her so, so much. So while Sedona is on her way home, I just wanna kinda read you guys their backstory because they do have a little bit of a backstory um, just so you guys have an idea. Um, of kind of where we're starting off. So Nancy and Jason worked hard for everything they have. To everyone on the outside, they look like the perfect family. Homemaker mom, successful businessman dad, straight A cheerleader daughter, and new baby to complete their picture perfect family. When their teenage daughter Sedona got into a situation a while back, her parents did everything they could to make sure that her poor choices wouldn't ruin her chances to get into Brychester University. The law program was her destiny. Sedona is still heartbroken over everything she had to give up. Jasper is a nice guy, but he's not Grady. She doesn't want to let her parents down, but she isn't the slightest bit interested in law school. The theater is her happy place. Acting has always been her passion. Grady understood that. She just wishes her parents did too. Her life was all laid out for her until now. Her parents only did what they did to protect her, they said. But she wonders if they did it to protect her 
or their image. So that's the basic little background that this family has going on. Um, we'll get into obviously more of the situation that Sedona got herself into and all of that um, obviously a little later in the series. But for right now, I just wanted to take this episode to kind of play with the family and to kind of introduce you guys to everybody. Okay, so Sedona actually just got an invite, but now she needs to find a way there. She could ask permission or try to leave and hope that no one catches her. Clicking on the ground or an openable window will give options on how to get to the event. So um, what I think Sedona is going to do is she's going to come in here and she's going to change into her party wear. And then she's going to come in and brush her teeth and everything. Um, her parents are actually getting ready to head to bed for the evening. So her dad is getting ready to just go use the restroom and then he's going to bed. Her mom is actually headed to bed right now. So she's hoping that by the time she's done with all of that, she will actually be able to sneak out of the house. So Nancy's in here putting Donovan to bed and Sedona is just kind of hiding out in her bedroom. Um, I think I want her to just kind of pet Samson a little bit. Oh no, I knew I shouldn't have done that. Gosh darn it. Now I can't have her go. All right, let's have her just come in and give Samson a bath, I guess, because she's not going to be able to go to the concert now. Gosh darn it. I would love to see if Maya and Samson could have puppies. I think that would be so cute. Maya, can you try to have puppies with Samson? All right, we're going to go ahead and send Sedona to bed for the night. Yay, they're trying to have puppies. Donovan is awake and he is upset. So Nancy's going to come in and get him. Um, oh, Maya's expecting puppies. Yay, she's going to come in and just kind of soothe him to sleep a little bit. She's like, it's okay, buddy. Go back to sleep. And then she's going to come in and she's going to use the bathroom and she's actually going to go to sleep herself. This is Maya's favorite place to be. She loves to come in here and just check on, Don on Donovan. She just like stands in front of his bed. So Jason just woke up. He's going to come in and use the bathroom. He's going to change into a different outfit. And then he here's Maya, I think, in here drinking from the toilet so he's gonna lecture her about that and of course the dogs have woken up the baby so he's gonna change Donovan's outfit we're gonna put him in some different clothes and then he'll go ahead and give him a bottle looks like Nancy is awake she's already grabbed herself some breakfast and she's sitting here on the couch with Miss Maya oh my gosh she's so cute can we have her give some food to Maya <laughs> She's like, look, Maya's pregnant. She deserves a little treat, you know? Let's have her also give Maya a brush. And then she's also going to come in here and change her clothes. We're going to put her in... Let's put her in this outfit. This outfit's cute. Sedona is up and awake. She's going to come in and use the restroom. Obviously, she's going to change her outfit. Let's put her in this outfit. And then we'll have her come and grab some leftovers. And then she's going to brush her teeth. And she's actually going to come out and start working on some stuff for cheer. Stop. I hate that. I hate that. Stop. I don't know why my Sims do that. Does anybody else's Sims do that? Like you have them eat breakfast and then immediately line up an interaction to have them go brush their teeth. And they take their food into the bathroom and start brushing their teeth while they eat. It is the most disgusting thing and it grosses me out. <laughs> Major. All right. Well, I was going to have Sedona do some cheerleading stuff today, but it's kind of rainy and nasty out today. So I'm wondering if maybe she's just going to hang out in the house a little bit today. Um, let's have her. Maybe we'll have her do some studying for her exams. Nancy needs to come in here and unload the dryer and the washing machine. All right. She's got laundry started. You are killing it today, Nancy. She's actually going to come in um, and start cleaning the bathroom. 
She cleans her bathroom every single Sunday. It's just what she does. <laughs> That's the first household chore that she starts on every Sunday. She goes in and cleans her bathroom. And then, of course, she comes in and cleans Sedona's bathroom as well. Little Donovan is in here napping. He is so cute. So you guys will notice that Donovan has a darker skin tone than his uh, family. And that is because they actually took Donovan in. He is not uh, Nancy and Jason's biological child. They tried for a long time to have a baby after Sedona. Um, but... Unfortunately, as you guys can see here, Nancy was diagnosed with infertility after Sedona. Um, they told her that something obviously went wrong um, after her C-section with Sedona because she did have a C-section. Um, they think that unfortunately something was damaged during her C-section and she was not able to um, have another child. So that is the reason that he looks a little bit different um, than the rest of his family is because he is not their biological child. But I think she is actually going to make some peanut butter cookies. This is where she spends most of her time is in the kitchen. She loves to cook. She loves to bake. Um, and she really would like to open a bakery. And so that's one of the things that we are actually going to be looking into um, is purchasing a retail lot. So we're going to go ahead and look into that right now because she is actually looking to purchase a um, just an empty lot. There's a place in Magnolia Promenade that she's kind of been looking at. Um, this one is about three grand, but there's also this smaller lot um, that she's thinking about purchasing. And if we bulldoze that lot, um, she's kind of planning on uh, building a different uh, bakery there and that will kind of be her baby where her husband has you know his career and things like that she will have Nancy's bakery so we are actually going to transfer $75,000 into the retail store account for Nancy to work with. So let's see if we can find a cute little bakery uh, because I'm just going to be really honest. I'm not good at building stuff like this. So I'm going to go see what I can find on the gallery. Oh my gosh, this place is adorable. This is called Rolling Scones Bakery. I love it. I love it. We are uh, a little bit short. <laughs> we only have about forty thousand um, dollars, so I love that. But we are gonna have to pick something else, which makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> I really like this one too. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is by Snuggles, uh, Snuggle Shark Sims on the gallery. It's called Small Urban Bakery. If you guys would like to download it, uh, but I think we're gonna use this one. We'll just change the name of it. Ah, oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and transfer $34,000 back into the household funds, um, leaving our bakery with $1,900-ish because um, we didn't really need all of it. Um, but she, so this bakery actually already came stocked with a few things, which is really cool. Uh, we've got a little bookshelf over here. We've got some tables, obviously our cash register. We have this massive cupcake machine, which we actually don't need anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And we're just going to add um, a little bit more counter space in here, I think. In addition to the new counter space, we're also obviously going to need a couple of appliances. We are going to need a stand mixer, so I'm going to grab one of those. And I also think I want to grab a pizza oven uh, because I think it would be really cool to have a uh, pizza as well. So let's, instead of calling it Nancy's Bakery, let's call it Nancy's, let's just call it Nancy's. Um, that way we're not really limited to anything as far as like what we want to what we want to sell, you know? So I think that's good. Let's um, I'm gonna move some things around in here, I think. We're gonna put that there and we'll move this here. I kind of like that better. There we go. 
Um, is there anything else that I'd like to add to like the walls or anything? I definitely think we need a smoke alarm just in case. I do want to add one of those and then this area is just like the rooftop seating area. So that's good. Um, and let's give this place some traits. Let's do, obviously we're gonna need a chef's kitchen for sure. Um, let's do the homey trait and let's give it the convivial trait. I think I like that. Oh my gosh, how cute. Let's have Nancy come in here and just take a look at her brand new bakery. Ah, it looks so good. Look, she's so excited. She looks so happy. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and come around here and set all of these things for sale. Okay, all of those things are set for sale. Let's double check over here and make sure that all of this is set for sale. We're gonna also set this holla bread for sale, but we're going to move that kind of up front here for people to see. All right, so let's take another look and we need to obviously hire an employee. So, um, Obviously, we would not hire Catherine. She's our friend. She's a stay-at-home mom. Um, definitely not something we would do. Um, but maybe, I mean, this guy's got a lot of, a lot of skill um, as far as retail, like sales experience. So I think we're gonna go with this Ashton Higgins fellow. All right, let's go ahead and open up the bakery. We are going to go ahead and open up they're going to be open from nine to four today so nancy just launched an ad campaign web advertising provides a quick initial rush of customers but trails off by the end of the campaign tv advertising provides a consistent increase in customers for its duration while it won't reach the same highs as web advertising it won't drop off either oh my gosh look at all these people so she is going to let him know that she just needs him to answer customers questions and everything um she's gonna go ahead and head back here behind the counter oh no uh Catherine's calling quick question mark eagleston and i were planning to spend some casual friend time together should i do it i mean yeah absolutely let's have her go ahead and clean the display case because it is looking pretty disgusting and we definitely don't want people to think that our bakery is like gross too many sims in one place is this max capacity if this is now is this now a fire hazard what if the ground opens up maybe it's time for nancy to sneak out oh no oh no nancy <laughs> okay um let's have her go and clean this it looks like she's feeling a little bit uncomfortable about being around so many people Eleanor just purchased some eclairs for $342. That's great. So have we, woohoo, we've made some sales profit. We've made $196 today. <laughs> so before we end the day today, I do want to manage Ashton a little bit and I just want to praise him a little bit. Voodoo doll donuts for $211. Okay, cool. I do want to praise him a little bit because he has been doing a really good job helping with the customers and everything. So I just want to kind of praise him for that. She needs to be funny in a crowded place three times. So uh, let's tell a joke about monkeys. And we'll have her tell a funny story. And tell another joke about monkeys. Just because I want her to get over this fear of being in crowded places. Because if she's going to run a bakery, she's going to have to get over that. <laughs> Yay, she did it. She got over her fear. Okay, it is 4 o'clock. So we do need to close the store. Um, after wages and advertisements, we made $127. Yay. <laughs> so she's going to finish up the day just by cleaning up the store. And just making sure that everything is nice and clean before she heads home for the day. Oh my goodness, y'all. This was quite the day. She's feeling pretty good. She's like, okay, all right, everything looks good. I think I'm finally ready to head home for the day.
And oh my gosh, she's even leaving out the back door. How cute is that? I love that. Well, okay. I think this was a pretty successful first episode. I know first episodes can be a little bit um, boring. <laughs> I know that they can be a little bit tedious, just kind of getting to know everybody and just getting into the swing of the story. Uh, but there is so much to come with this Let's Play, and I am so freaking excited for it. So I hope you guys are too. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment down below letting me know. It really does help me out, and I love getting to interact with you guys in the comments and stuff. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.